Tanisha, thank you. Now, shutting down non-essential businesses, that's a big part of keeping people home and stopping the spread. But here at News 5 alone, we feel dozens of calls every day from employees who say they are still required to go to work, even though they think their employer is violating the state's stay-at-home order. So, Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis is digging into that order and why some are at odds about what actually counts as essential. Joe. Well, Rob, there are some Northeast Ohio workers out there that are concerned that there are local businesses that are too broadly interpreting what an essential business is, staying open and creating a potential health risk. We get a lot of questions, and we ask you to just simply read the order. Ohio's Lieutenant Governor John Husted says the state is making it clear, but calls continue to flood into News 5 asking what's actually considered essential in this 12-page stay-at-home order, which outlines what businesses must close. Husted maintains the order is specific enough to reduce the coronavirus risk. We tried to write it plainly, recognizing that the supply chain is a difficult thing to define. But Cuyahoga County's Board of Health says hundreds of employees here in Northeast Ohio are sharing their health concerns, that dozens of local companies are using loopholes in Ohio's stay-at-home order and remain open. Yesterday alone, independent of all the coronavirus calls we get from the public about health issues, we received 500 calls from the public about whether a business is essential. News 5 has received numerous calls from employees who say their businesses are not essential. Envelopes, craft supplies, and women's apparel among some of the items Ohio workers say their companies make or distribute as so-called essential businesses. Wednesday, the governor responded to employees who believe Ohio's order is being violated. There's a limit to how specific you can be, because if you say a certain business, then the question is, well, what actually is that business doing within that? Or are they involved in, in something that is, in fact, essential? Then you get into the other question, are they involved in, in the chain? And Ohio's lieutenant governor is saying that businesses should use their own best judgment when complying with Ohio's order, that a business should be prepared to explain why it's still open when asked, Rob. Uh, but Joe, Cuyahoga County wants to take this a step further, right? The health commissioner asking businesses to take yeah. protective action beyond the state's stay-at-home order. That's right, Rob. A Commissioner Allen saying whether a business is essential or not, if that company can create a work from home environment, that should be the business's first choice in all cases. Back to you, Rob.